All right, mates, welcome back. JL Scott Fishing and Eat. So far, is growing great, great, great. Welcome to be back. It's great to be back. We've got some stuff all dropping this week. Got some trout fishing in after that latest snowstorm that hit the region. Wasn't a lot. Wasn't a storm. It's more like a dusting for us in the DMV. But a perfect opportunity to hit some of the other creeks out um, and take a look at all the trout stocking that's gotten done here. And I've had a lot of messages that I'm catching back up on. Um, to do another update. You can find this stuff, mates, pretty, a couple keywords uh, through Google sometimes. Just just, uh, just type in Maryland trout stocking plan, Maryland trout stocking, Maryland trout stocking, Virginia trout stocking. Typically, you kind of get into the area where you may have to do one or two pages away to be able to get to where you really want to be. Sometimes there's so much information on these sites, um, these government sites in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania. And things like that, you kind of have to do a little bit of uh, digging sometimes um, to get it. I will put this link in the description of this video as also on any share page link on Facebook like that. But we are going to look at just the end of last year into now, approaching the beginning of March. Quick housekeeping, quick updates for you. Make sure if you're going to plan to fish March KBF. Bass Fishing Challenge Series in the DMV. Um, make sure that you register by Tuesday evening. I'm not sure what the cutoff is, if it's midnight or some other uh, arbitrary number. Um, but make sure that you have to be registered for that the day before the month you plan to fish. So make sure you do that um, for the Challenge Series. And why that's a big deal for anyone who is in the DMV, um, Big shout out to everybody, by the way, in our region that's been subscribing to the channel. Uh, it, it's been pretty awesome, both on Facebook and on um, YouTube now. Facebook's up over 1,500, I think, and YouTube's about 24,000. It's crazy. And TikTok just crossed 4,000, I think. Um, so it's great, you know, just for uh, purposes of like information and insight and fishing destinations. Uh, there's op-ed, obviously, too, so don't get, don't get twisted over it. It's just an opinion. Everybody's got them um, on different things happening in the fishing community. You can just scroll past those videos if you're not interested in listening to this schmuck's opinion on stuff, which is fine because um, I don't take myself really seriously. Um, but I do take fishing pretty damn seriously, um, but not that stuff. Um, so trout stocking plan. Um, also, update. Make sure that you check out if you're un if you're unfamiliar with, with what KBF is rolling out, if you're a kayak bass fishing angler. Um, make sure you check out the ambassador championship next month on the 18th of March. That's going to be in Huntsville area. I think Wheeler and Gunnersville. Um, I think anyone can fish in that event. You, you've got the two tiers. You've got the 14, 14 format, which is, which is kind of new. Um, I think to KBF, uh, which is kind of piggybacking on the growth of team fishing formats. I'd be very, very shocked if KBF did not roll out a, team type series going forward in 2020 late 20 in 2024 i would be absolutely shocked because of what's happened with obviously um the other um kayak bass uh fishing team format and everything that's happened there that had a lot of promise but you know a uh, first one through the door always gets bloodied you know the way that is um and so check that out. Also, the Knucklehead Bass Fishing Series launches, I believe, for March. Um, so check that out. You can find that all on Fishing Chaos. Just hit the Club Trail, KBF. Hit that main page. Um, just make sure that make sure that when you're doing those things that you pay attention to what the criteria eligibility is. Some of these series are ambassador level. Some of these series are premium level. So just make sure so there's no confusion um, when you go register in front of events. And all that stuff. Now, on to trout. Had a great opportunity to get out and get uh, some creek fishing in, in the snow. Tons of fun. Love to change things up. Um, and when you have some of the information, um, you know, out there on where they've stocked these these trout, not only for trout's sake, but a lot of times in a lot of these creeks and also that are feeding, in the, uh, feeding into our rivers, that may be feeding into some lakes, um, you know, uh, I was just out at uh, Lake Needwood as well in the last few days um, that was stocked. You, 
you know, they they also become they potentially can become for forage for some of those bigger bass that you may be looking for um, as well in your lakes and reservoirs. Um, not so much in the creeks. And the creeks have come into some small mouths in Maryland going um, looking for trout. Um, you know, so that's always a fun, you know, a fun thing to see. So trout stocking in Maryland, you can find this on the dnrmaryland.gov fisheries page for trout stocking. Okay. So, but they've been stocking repeat, repeatedly, continually mates since October, November. I mean, and so, you know, there's always this great divide. They've also been stocking smallmouth bass in the last year in Maryland. They, a lot of Maryland DNR does not get nearly the amount of credit that it probably should get. Um, you know, in terms of all of the stuff that it's doing now. I think they actually just just uh swore in another 30 of the 30 conservation officers for the state. So that is growing. Okay. Like it's growing in terms of the commitment being made to Maryland fisheries, conservation, lands, and all of that stuff impacting both fishermen, um, fishing, boating, hunting, all that good mess. Um, so for the trout stocking, you can find your list. I also share the stuff that comes to my phone as much as I possibly when I get an alert or an update or someone hits me up and lets me know that the fish just got stocked in this creek or that creek or, or this this lake, this reservoir. Um, um, I usually immediately post it up to Facebook. So if you're not following on Facebook, JL Scott Fishing and Eats, I would do that. Um, and also post up on TikTok. So you can follow there and you'll get it pretty much, you know, within a few hours of me getting it. Uh, also, make sure that when you are fishing for trout, whether in Virginia, I believe, and in Maryland, make sure that you have the necessary permits for that. Trout stamps, all that good mess, okay? Um, to support that, those dollars all go to supporting everything that's happening in that segment, um, you know, for trout fishing. I actually kind of wish and hope that we get to a point where we have a, a smallmouth bass stamp, okay, where those of us that fish for smallies, um, predominantly can support the stocking of smallies from our hatcheries in Maryland to certain areas that we want to support the populations. I'd be down for that. Most of us are down for that. Most of us do not have a problem with supporting our fisheries. Those that do, I can't help you. Um, you know, um, the stuff goes to supporting your passion of fishing and making sure that fish populations stay sustainable in, in these places. And that's where the money's going. Um, and so it's important to do that, important to support that. So I would be all on board with that with the state in Annapolis, um, you know, and Maryland DNR instituting a formal smallmouth stamp program um, in order, it, as long as those funds were dedicated for that, just like I am supportive of, of, uh, of the trout. You've got um, also some new brook trout regulations. You got a whole bunch of that stuff you want to deep dive into. It's pretty dry. You want to look at the new fishing regulations for 2023, all of that stuff. So specific codes for 2023 that you can pay attention if you're interested in targeting a certain species or where these species are being stocked and then be visiting those um, fisheries sometime in the spring um, or, you know, throughout the year. Um, depending on if there's any restrictions or not. There are some uh, creeks and river systems and such in Maryland and Virginia that have restrictions and regulations as to your equipment. Okay, always be cognizant of that fact. Always do your research ahead. Consider it part of pre-fishing to find out if you're going someplace and you're parking somewhere and you're going to walk. Make sure you're familiar with what areas are you are allowed to Um Put and take that you're allowed to fish with spinning gear. That you have to fish with a fly rod. All those things come into play um, here. Okay, so it starts. The coolest thing about this site, mates, is it starts from current going back. Okay, so you don't have to scroll. If you want to know what's going on this week, right now at the end of the month of February, right now you can see it's done by date, by county, and species. So the last stocking posted up was in Allegheny County, Maryland, Jennings Run, 1200 RB, that's rainbow, and GN, that would probably be golden, right? Golden trout, put and take. That tells you what the regulation is for that specific body of water where fish were actually stocked. Now, there could be areas along a run or a creek or a river 
miles down, above, or below that may not have the, the same restrictions. So that's why you want to make sure. Okay. So Allegheny got stocked twice on the 22nd of February. Actually, you know, um, in Allegheny County, Jennings Run, North Jennings Run, that watershed. Okay. They're pretty much the same. Um, combining that out. But it was all rainbow and golden trout. On the same day in Garrett County, that is Western Maryland, Savage River. Most people are familiar with Savage Reservoir, right? Um, Savage River, 2,500 rainbow and golden trout. Then again, Allegheny County again, okay? Wills Creek, Bear, uh, Wills Creek and Evitts Creek. Then Garrett County. So those counties have predominantly gotten hit with stockings here in the last week, week and a half. Bear Creek, well-known, stocked, I believe, in two different locations. Um, I'll have to ver verify that. Then Washington County, all of these are in Western Maryland, okay, mates? Then you got Caroline, Queen. Then we start to go a little bit more towards the central and, excuse me, other parts of the state, Queen Anne's, and back to Baltimore, Little Falls, well-known place in Baltimore, Washington County, Antium Creek, where I was, okay? That's Washington County. You also have Antietam Creek. Most people are familiar with the Antietam Battlefield. That creek will run all the way down around the battlefield and on your way to the Potomac, the Upper Potomac River. Okay? Um, for those who want to check that out. Um, in the Baltimore County area, Baltimore Central area, you've got lots of places, parks um, and such uh, that are chocked full of, of trout um, that are also stocked, as you can see here. Um, and those are your February stockings, okay, of just, you can find that list, okay? Let me see if they've got it to where, it should be below it, I believe. You got channel catfish stocking as well listed there. That was all predates 2021. So let's go, um... I guess they used to have a link and they removed it. Okay. So they're just doing, let's do the map or closure dates. Okay. We'll do the map. Trout stocking locations map can also use that depending on where you're going with that load up. Probably take a minute or so. Um, but you can use, you can go, these will go all the way back into November and you can find out where all the fish have been stocked. And a lot of these places have been stocked multiple times. You're going to see this on the map here for Maryland. Um, you got your mapping tools and each of these bubbles is going to represent you could select your options, stock streams, stocked ponds, stock streams by date, stock ponds. All that stuff if you want to uh, minimize your uh, search results, narrow it down. But here you basically have it. I mean, it basically, you can see the overabundance of stockings that have gone on here in the Allegheny Mountain area, the western portion of Maryland, where trout fishing is phenomenal. We've also got some other feeders that go into like Jennings Randolph Lake, predominant smallmouth and trout fishery um, in western Maryland. One of my favorite, favorite places to fish. Um, then you've got the central corridor from Frederick down to Potomac, um, D.C., where I am, like in here in this region. And then you've got your Baltimore County, north of Washington and Baltimore County, towards Annapolis zones in the, what's called the Piedmont. Um, and so you easily can click on any of these bubbles here, and it's going to tell you the date in which it was stocked. This was stocked last year on the 18th of April. So you can find out and click on this and look at 12-7 right before the holiday last year 4,000 rainbow trout stocked in deep creek lake deep creek lake is a predominantly um fished uh lake in maryland huge vacation spots probably the equivalent of like lake anna for everyone familiar with lake anna in virginia um in terms of vacation homes and airbnb vr verbo all that good stuff it's where a lot of people go and spend summer vacations and weekends um in maryland but there are a lot of other lakes um in and around that area of the state that don't nearly get as fished as much as deep creek does um for sure and so 
But anyway, you can click on all of these to kind of find. There was one near the end of the year, Rocky Gap, popular place, Indian Springs last year, Blairs Valley Lake last year. I did a video on Blairs Valley Lake. You can find that on YouTube. Pretty small. It's a small, small lake compared compared to a lot of other ones. Um, but if you want to take a kid trout fishing, um, or take a, or you know take a kid out kayak fishing for their first time, um, that's a great lake to go to because you'll catch you'll catch a lot of trout. Um, you're not you mean you're not going to catch necessarily citation trout, but you'll catch a lot of trout numbers. So if you want to introduce a kid, take a kid fishing from the bank, take you know or take them out on a kayak. Um, you know, Blair's Valley is a really neat place to um, go. I have a video that I'll drop here for Greenbrier as well, for Crappy, um, you know, as well as other species as well, Greenbrier Lake. But you get the idea here, mates, okay? Um, this uh, Maryland trout stocking activities, may, may, you know, sometimes lags, um, you know, so you want to check this before they finally get update the map um, and all that. Um, but it's, it's really, really a useful tool, um, for you, not only if you're a trout angler, but also if you're a bat, a lot of these lakes have bass and this stocking, this stocking of these trout, you know, are the equivalent sometimes of runs. They're the equivalent of like a shad run or a per yellow perch run or, or thing like that, uh, um, river herring, you know, all those things that happen that kind of like create. A little bit of um, a generated bite, you know, for a lot of the other species in these lakes, because some of these lakes aren't that big, um, you know, and it's an annual thing. Um, it's getting to be an annual thing in terms of the stocking. So um, predominantly most are rainbow and, um, and golden that I've found this year. There has been some brown trout, I believe. Um, for me, um, I come across more rainbow um, did see some, did see golden, which was kind of, it's always really, really cool. Um, but this year for me, I am probably going to target, um, brook trout for me, probably in West Virginia, um, and places like that, at least this year, I really want to do a trip or two, um, solely dedicated to brook trout, just because I just think it, it you know, I really, really enjoy trout fishing. Um, as a, as a, as a secondary to being on the upper Potomac or, or Monocacy and Susquehanna, Shenandoah, uh, upper gen fishing for smallmouth bass. It's a great little change of pace. Sometimes late winter, early spring before the spawn. And then also maybe in the mountains in the late summer, um, where it's a little cooler up there, um, to do a little bit of trout fishing, um, you know, in that regard. So, that's your update on Maryland trout fishing activities map and the current Maryland uh, trout. I'm sure that they were probably stocking to yesterday or today. Um, I'll see if I can't get an update on that. I'll post that on Facebook because I think they were stocking today. Um, I just not exactly sure where. I believe it was. I think it was going to be Montgomery County. Um, but I'll va validate that for everybody. Post that up. So just make sure that you follow up on the Facebook page, JL Scott Fishing, or you follow on TikTok and I break it, you know, we'll share the graphic um, released that gets sent to me. And um, so everybody is well aware of these things and what creeks and what lakes are actually being stocked. So we can like pretty much push back a lot about a lot of the misinformation that's out there about some of these states not having dedicated stocking programs. Um, there is a lot of misinformation out there in terms of what the state is doing for bass and for trout, as well as uh, how dedicated they are at addressing the invasive species. Right now, we just came off Invasive Species Week, so you've got plenty of things on um, the uh, Maryland government site, at least, on Blue Channel Cat and, um, you know, and other invasive species that are impacting our fisheries, and it's always great to be informed for that stuff. So, you know, to remove a blue channel, a, um, a blue cat, right. Or you, you know, to remove, um, what may or may not be an invasive species, um, you know, for your particular area. So you want to, you want to like, you know, look for that a lot. Of, there's been a lot of like confusion over the flathead invasiveness, blue invasiveness and all that stuff. So, um, 
there's some resources out there that'll help you out when you're out, if you're out fishing for whatever, and you catch one of those and make the determination whether you're going to keep it, um, dispose of it, or, you know, um, you know, or throw it back. Um, you know, it's you know, the recommendations are there from the state, what they want you to do. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we all know how that is out on the water, especially if you're out on a kayak and you, you, you come, you land into a big catfish, um, you know, in a tournament or out, pre, whatever, pre-fishing, it's like, you know, um, so you want to make sure you get some clarity on that and just, just to expand your knowledge base. So that's it. Maryland Trout Stocking Activities, mate. I'll post the link in the description of this YouTube video, as well as the link over on Facebook where I'll share this video, you find it in either place, um, and then bookmark it on, um, you know, on your computer, laptop and such. Um, so you have it, so you can always kind of reference back to it um, to kind of check out what's happening with the trout stocking in Maryland. All right, mates.